I'm John Perkins, and I'm really delighted to participate in this conference. I'll be talking about the innovations of agricultural systems that we use today that were enabled by intensive uses of energy. Two features really stand out. First, the yields really did go up, and that's a benefit. But second, those benefits came with serious downsides. In some cases, economic development was very uneven and people ended up worse off than they were before. In other cases, we had serious agricultural pollution from the uh, agrochemicals. Third, pests became resistant to pesticides, which risks continuing those high yields. And fourth and most significantly, the heavy use of fossil fuels in agriculture contributed significantly to the potential catastrophic climate changes we're now enduring. The world thus faces a dilemma. Do we stay with those innovations that were so successful in yields, but risk catastrophic climate change, which will in fact endanger those yields? Or does the world continue innovation in agricultural technology so that we don't suffer those risks from climate change. The path forward will not be easy, but I'm convinced that agricultural scientists can help lead the way. I look forward to our discussions in JAMU in October. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, wherever you are. My name is Menale Kase. I'm the head of Social Sciences and Impact Assessment Unit at the International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology, ECP. I'm honored to participate in the Indian Ecological Society International Conference held in October 2022 in Jammu, India. The theme of the conference is Sustainable Agricultural Innovations for Resilient uh, Agri-Food Systems. This is a unique conference organized when the world faces an unprecedented storm because of climate change, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the conflict which disrupts significantly the agri-food systems globally and especially in the global south. This calls for the importance of strengthening the resilience of local agri-food systems by promoting socio-technical innovation bundles. At the conference, I will speak on the role of sustainable intensification innovation bundles for local agri-food systems and provide evidence on their impacts on income, food nutrition security, resilience to production risk, input use, and the environment. I very much look forward to meeting you all at this exciting conference. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Shannon Olson. I am a faculty at the National Center for Biological Sciences, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Bangalore, India. I'm also the global director of the ECHO Network, which is a worldwide social innovation partnership to bring science closer into society. I'm extremely honored and excited to be participating in the Indian Ecological Society's International Conference to be held this October 13th through 15th in Jammu. And the topic is Sustainable Agricultural Innovations for Resilient Agri-Food Systems. First of all, I think it's incredibly meaningful and important that we're having a discussion about sustainable agriculture being held by an ecological society. I feel very, very strongly that concerns of our ecosystems, of biodiversity, our natural resources, and on the ecosystem services that are, that are being provided to us for our food security are the thing that we need to focus on right now. They're the thing that needs to be taken forward by innovations, but also in our hearts, in our communities, in order to realize the sustainable future that we all envision. It is one of the main goals of my own career and my work with the ECHO Network to 
have organizations across different sectors from government and industry and NGOs and academia and service and philanthropy to all work together towards this goal. And therefore it's my call to you that I hope you will attend this conference no matter who you are, because I think it will be a really important opportunity for us to get together to discuss these issues and to find ways to work forward together. So I look forward to meeting you there. I look forward to working with you and solving this problem together. Thank you so much. Hi, I am BM Prasanna, Director of the Global Maize Program of International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, uh, CIMIT. I look forward to participating in the international conference to be organized by the Indian Ecological Society at Jammu uh, in October 2022, and to deliver a talk on breeding and deploying climate resilient maize varieties in the tropics. Tremendous strides have been made over the past decade by way of breeding and delivery of a large number of improved crop varieties adopted to diverse agroecologies and meeting the different demands of the stakeholders. However, with the world population projected to reach 9 billion by 2050, it is imperative to increase cereal production by at least 37% annually in order to meet the surging food demand. The output of the three major cereal crops alone, maize, wheat, and rice, needs to increase by 70% by 2050 to meet the world's growing rural and urban populations. There are now exciting opportunities to utilize novel, modern breeding tools, technologies, and approaches, including double haploidy or speed breeding, or rapid generation advancement, high throughput and precision phenotyping, and genomics assisted breeding for accelerated development of climate resilient crop varieties. At the same time, breeding institutions do need to adopt innovative strategies, including strong public private partnerships for targeted delivery of climate resilient crop varieties, especially in those vulnerable uh, agroecologies inter-institutional synergies, generation of new scientific knowledge on stress tolerance in crop plants, and scaling up adoption of climate resilient crop varieties together with climate smart agricultural practices are indeed critical for us to effectively tackle climate induced stresses. Once again, I look forward to the presentations and discussions during the international conference uh, to be organized by the Indian Ecology Ecological Society in Jammu in October 2022. Thank you. I'm Alison Bentley, Director of the Global Wheat Program at CIMIT based in Mexico. I'm very much looking forward to joining the Indian Ecological Society International Conference this October to talk about our work on breeding wheat for the future. As you may know, wheat is a staple food eaten by 2.5 billion people around the world and grown on the largest land area of any crop species. With this comes numerous opportunities as well as numerous challenges. Amongst the opportunities, we know there's huge potential to boost the productivity of wheat through breeding, agronomy, uh, and integrated approaches. But we also know that the system faces many challenges. We see the increasing threats of climate change, the need to produce wheat within the agroecological boundaries of our systems, increasing in input uh, costs uh, and costs to producers. In this talk, I'll highlight the work we're doing in the Summit Global Wheat Program to address both these opportunities and challenges to ensure wheat available for meeting food security needs of the future. I very much look forward to seeing you all in India soon. Thank you very much. I am Muni Muniapen, and I am happy to participate in this international conference on sustainable agricultural innovations for resilient agri-food agri systems organized by the Indian Ecological Society. This conference is very timely, and it gives an opportunity to review problems faced by the world to feed the burgeoning current population of 6.9 billion people, which is expected to reach 9.75 billion in 2050. In recent years, globalization has enhanced global trade and transport, which facilitated 
movement of invasive species with that. Pests and diseases in general cause about 40% crop loss unless properly managed. Indiscriminate use of pesticides has caused human and environmental health problems. Adoption of integrated pest management approach will lead to tackling pest and disease problems in an economical, effective, acceptable and safer to human and environmental health. Hopefully this conference will lead to highlight the problems, identify solutions to alleviate them in a sustainable manner and to make the world a safer place for future generations. I look forward to listening to presentations and to interact with scientists participating in this conference. Thank you. My name is VP Singh and I work for SEAT UNDP program in the Philippines. I am the former director for South Asia of the International Center for Research in Agroforestry, which is headquartered at Nairobi, Kenya. I am interested for participating and listening to this august body of speakers in the conference, international conference, which is organized by the Indian Ecological Society at Jammu. In this conference, I would also like to speak on agroforestry for sustainable livelihoods, food and nutritional security, and environmental protection. I was just browsing through the IPCC 2022 report and I am very glad to find out that agroforestry is being mentioned among few of the items for climate change mitigation by a carbon sequestration. I look forward for meeting you all during the conference at Jammu and have a greater interaction with all of you in the conference. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Dinesh Marotia, the President of the Indian Society of Agriculture Economics, one of the oldest and academically vibrant professional societies functioning fruitfully since 1939. The topic of the Indian Society of Ecology International Conference is socially, ecologically, environmentally and economically important and crucial to provide directions for sustainable development goals. The theme requires thoughtful and informed management of natural resources using an interdisciplinary perspective for sustainable agri-food system. I will be sharing my views on safeguarding common pool resources for a social ec ecological transformation of indigenous food system. I am sure collectively we can address the complex issue of balancing sustainability between natural resource use and the agri-food system through synthesizing traditional and contemporary wisdom. I am honored to be participating in the conference. I very much look forward to seeing you all. Thank you. My name is Yaur Khan. I work for the International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology in Kenya. I will be attending the Indian Ecological Society International Conference 2022 in October this year in Jammu, India. As today the world's agriculture is facing many challenges such as climate change, declining yields, pests and diseases, 
soil erosion, loss of biodiversity, and how to inspire young people to become future farmers. This conference is very timely. I am very confident that this important conference on sustainable agricultural innovations will be the most informative meeting of the year and will provide solutions to these challenges. The conference will be attended by world-renowned top scientists in their fields who will discuss how their research is helping to enhance food security and environmental sustainability. I am appealing to all scientists, policymakers, students, extension workers and farmers who are interested in sustainable agriculture and climate change not to miss this important conference. The attendees of the conference will have an excellent opportunity to interact with each other and with the speakers. I am very confident that under the leadership of Professor Peshin and the organizing committee, the conference will be a great success. See you in Jammu in October 2022. Thank you.